Remy, it was such a good idea to come out here on a picnic. Oh, the sunset is so beautiful. It looks just like a picture postcard. Gee, first time I ever saw a sunset that was posted zoo. I love roughing it in the woods. I'll live off the land, foraging for nuts and berries, dining on roots and bark, right after I finish wrapping these nachos. <laughs> I can't believe he brought the microwave. Forget the microwave. I can't believe he found a 17-mile extension cord. Now, you all relax while I watch my favorite soap opera. You brought a TV? Why didn't you just set the VCR to tape it? I would have, but I can't figure out how to set the clock so it doesn't flash 12 o'clock all the time. How on camping life? How on roughing it? Going out into the woods and bringing all the comforts of home? Ah, I'm disgusted. I need a drink of water. Oh boy, I'm glad we brought this along. Ooh, what's this program? It's that tabloid news show that exposes all the scandals of the storybook land. And here, our hidden camera catches Peter Peter in the act of putting his wife into a pumpkin cell. Hiya. Is that any way to treat the woman you love? Well, that's our show for tonight. Be with us tomorrow as we ask the question, just what makes old King Cole such a merry old soul? But another shocker reports that Wee Willie Winky has been seen running through the city dressed only in his nightgown. Till then, this is your investigative reporter, Ace Munger, saying, watch it. Good show, people. Good show. Oh, Fred, any leads yet on that Peter Pan expose? Good going, Mr. Munger. I have two witnesses that will say he has grown up, he's 58 years old, and he uses wires to fly. Oh, everybody knows that. Work harder, man. Dig some dirt. Talk to that crocodile with a clock inside of him. He'll give you a hand. Oh, by the way, someone spotted a flying saucer out there by the lake. Not another flying saucer sighting. This is the 12th one this week, and it's only Tuesday. Well, I have to drive past the lake on my way home. Might as well swing by and check it out. Oh, uh, make sure I get a cassette of tonight's show. Why don't you set your VCR on a tape it? I would, but I can't figure out how to set the clock so it doesn't flash 12 o'clock all the time. Oh, yes, when that awful show is over and my soap is on. Oh, Grimmy Poo, this is all sugar pot. Now, don't you get lost in the forest. Now, oh, Grimmy Poo, I guess that's what I should be doing. Don't get lost in the forest. Who does he think he's talking to? I have a terrific sense of direction. How many times have I ever gotten lost? Okay, one. That's why he said, all right, three times if you count that incident in the phone booth. But that won't happen this time. I know my way back. I know precisely where I am. I know that I'm hopelessly lost. <laughs> no, I'm not. My flawless tracking instincts tell me that way is north. Or is it that way? <gasps> that way. No, I was right the first time. It's that way. It is absolutely, positively that way, or my name isn't Grimmy. <laughs> Okay, so my name isn't Grimmy. I'm lost. I'm hopelessly lost in the forest. Out in the cold, cruel forest where there are wild animals and snakes and little girls who try to sell you cookies. I'm miles from people, miles from civilization, miles from the fire hydrants. Things couldn't possibly get worse. I was wrong. Things got worse. Boy, what a great special effect. Excuse me, can you tell me where the Ventura Freeway is? You, you're a dog. So are you. Yeah, but, but you're a dog from outer space. Yes, we're a little more advanced than you are. Well, how much farther advanced are you? About a day and a half. A day and a half? Yes, we get our Saturday morning cartoons on Thursday evening. Why don't you come on board? If you'll show me where the Ventura Freeway is, I'll drop you off wherever you want to go. I'm going in a spaceship! Woohoo! I'm going in a spaceship! <laughs> You're going into a spaceship! Oh no, I can't! No, no one's ever gonna believe this! Watch out for that! Sorry. Okay, here we go! Good heck. Uh. You just turn left and go that way for about 2,000 miles until you see a line of cars not moving for days. That's the Ventura Freeway. I appreciate this, Grimmy. Oh, wow, you have all these neat buttons and lights here. What's this little thing flashing 12? That's my VCR. I can't figure out how to set the clock so it doesn't flash 12 o'clock all the time. Ratings will go 
up to the roof. Anywhere around here is fine. Sight for the lips. Hey, I, I didn't get your name. Ed. Ed? My father's name was Ed. Oh, fine. Hey, thanks, Ed. Hope you find your off ramp. Now, boy, this tape will be worth millions. Wait a minute. Someone's coming out. I'm about to get a shot of the alien himself. There he is. He's, he's disguised himself as a yellow dog. Ground floor. Everybody out. So long. Hey, watch for your off ramp. The Ventura Freeway. Talk about going where no man has gone before. I gotta get this tape on the air right away. Fred, alert the network. We're going on tonight for this special program. Aliens from another planet have landed, and get this, they look like yellow dogs with big noses. Where is that dog? Maybe he's lost. Oh, he'll show up, and as usual, he'll have some silly story as an excuse. Here he comes now. Grimmy, where have you been? I went for a ride in a flying stalker. See, a, a dog named Ed from another planet gave me a ride because I told him where to find the Ventura Freeway. I, I know it sounds weird, but you believe me, don't you? What do you think, Dad? Ah, uh, too unbelievable. I give it a five. Not bad. He is better than the one about the robot chipmunk who made him three weeks late for dinner. I say four and a half. A space dog named Ed? Yeah, his father's name was Ed. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. One. I'm not being generous. <laughs> Everybody, get your stuff. We're going home. But, but it's true. Attila, it's true. Ham, anyone? Well, you believe me, don't you? <sighs> I'm, I'm telling you, his name was Ed, and he was looking for the Ventura Freeway. Grimmy, either you drop that stupid, ridiculous story, or I'm stopping this car right now. Okay. I did not ride all the way back to camp in a flying saucer. Well, that's better. I walked the last few yards after he let me out. <laughs> Get up out here. You don't believe me? That's your problem. When the whole world's invaded by space dogs named Ed, you'll come running to me. But it'll be too... late. Okay, that's how she wants it. It's only 80 miles. If I walk fast, I can be home by Memorial Day. Everyone's watching TV. Maybe it's Carl the Wonder Poodle. We have exclusive footage of the dog from outer space. Wow, sounds like Ed got on candid camera. There he is, America. Observe the ugly dog disguise. The utterly brainless look on his face. Where? Where is he? Ed? Ed? Whether it's true or not, 
In fact, it's better uh, when it isn't true. I hate it when facts get in the way of a good story. You mean you broadcast lies? And why not? The public is, you know, basically stupid. They see something on TV, they assume it's true. Oi! I put enough lies on TV. <laughs> I ought to know. That's the man who broadcasted the tape of the dog from out of space. Golly! Must have been some sort of special effect trick or something. Well, this whole thing's been a whole act. I want this man arrested. This is my biggest story ever. And you know what the most unbelievable thing about it is? This one is actually true. I can't believe it. Nobody else will either. Hey, come back. You have to give me an exclusive interview. You can't do this to me. I'm back, I say. Boy, if true stories are this much trouble, I'm gonna go back to making them up. Hey, what's the meaning of this? Throw them in the stockade until the police decide what to do with it. You can't do this to me. Not when I finally broadcast something true. Uh, I think they'll put him in jail, sir. Almost. That broadcast, no one will ever put him on TV again. <clears throat> but no Grimmy. Now can I have you? No, you cannot have this goldfish. Oh, my poor little Grimmy baby. I should have never doubted him. Well, I still don't believe that stupid story about the flying saucer. Hey, thanks for the lift, Ed. If you're ever in the neighborhood, let's do lunch. We'll never doubt anything you tell us again as long as you live. Yeah, what do you think of that? Eh, I give it a three.